Oklahoma, OU doesn't like physicality. I mean, I think that's fair. I mean, I don't. I, I mean, I think they responded fairly well um, to that. You know, specifically in the trenches. Um, I think that's. Uh, but I think that's. I think that's fair. Um, I think that's fair. Yeah, and, and I think that's one of the things that I um, mentioned just a few minutes ago, Philip. And I think Oklahoma needs to continue to to lean on that running game a little bit more until you can trust. You know, at this point, I don't um, I don't completely trust Rattler to make the best decision. So I would lean on the run game a lot more. I agree with you, Philip. Last defensive, I mean, and, and they were like that against Tulane as well. So I, this defensive line, and, and they weren't bad at all throughout the game. Uh, there were some areas of the game where they weren't able to get as much pressure as you would have liked. But I, I think, um, you know, if you said that um, Nick Benito was the best player, on this Oklahoma team, I don't think you could get a whole lot of argument from from me or really anyone that's watched um, Oklahoma this year. You know, he's been he's been all over the place. I don't know how many. I, I believe before that last um, those last few plays, uh, Oklahoma had either four or five sacks on, on the day. I don't remember. Um, I'll have to look here see if I can see some of the um, the stats. I think Oklahoma probably had five or six sacks on the game. So that you know, and they they were close a few more times. So. Defensive line remains the strength uh, of this team, um, just in general. I, I think by a pretty pretty far margin. So, yeah, absolutely agree. Rain was was really good um, at the center position today for Oklahoma. You know, he didn't start. Conjol started uh, at least the first couple of drives, and then Rain came in. I think in the first quarter and um, played you know played really well uh, for for Oklahoma. I don't. I didn't see many offensive linemen shuffling in and out of that game. Um, I, I don't. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. I don't remember seeing Wanya Morris very much, if at all. I mean, even spelling um, anybody at the at the at the tackle position. So um, I don't remember seeing anyone after Raym came in. I don't remember them shuffling guys in and out. I mean, if they did, it was it was sparingly. Um, yeah, that, that's concerning, Patrick. I, only two games in three game, two plays. I'm sorry, in three games over 30 yards. Um, that's it's concerning. I think it's it's concerning against for for a team as as much talent as they have on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, Mims is struggling. Do you think we're missing Rambo? Uh, I don't really think so. Um, I think that the of all the problems offensively, I don't think it's receiver. Um, you know, maybe a little bit in terms of a down, down the field threat, but um, I, I think you've got to, you've got to be in a position where, I, and look, look what Tulane did, look what Nebraska both did. They played a very soft zone at times, and they just dared Oklahoma to run the ball. And I don't think it's because, I think op- opposing teams don't feel like Oklahoma has enough patience to run the ball consistently down the field. They want the big play. And so that's the thing that I, you know, with both Lincoln Riley and, and the team overall, I think they're going to have to make uh, make the change from a philosophical perspective to run the ball more often. Yeah, I mean, Stogner just, he, I, I don't know if he's, he's not healthy or, um, you know, he's still dealing with the, the effects of, you know, of everything, the staff infection of everything he went through last year. Um, and, and that could very well be the, be the case, but Oklahoma's not really getting any of the tight ends involved very much, very limited throws to the H-back tight end um, perspective, whether, you know, whether you're talking about um, Braid Willis, uh, Austin Stogner, or even uh, Jeremiah Hall. I do know, I know they got the touchdown today, but it's really not as much passing, you know, short intermediate. He's just, I think he's just, going for the juggler too much um, right now.